Southside experience, deliberate, precise. Perth, young, fearless, chaotic. Who'll strike first? Best of three. We're away in the grand final of 23-24. Maley. Atwell has been deadly from long range. What a way to start the grand final. Perth like it. Fast and furious. They want speed and chaos. Southside will be happy to pin them in the half-court game. Good child against Mitchell. Well done, Leilani. Drives to the rack. Rolls around. And away comes Goodchild. Miller. Tough finish. Great mate from Miller. Goodchild. Will she pull up? Bounces it back out. Potter. Goodchild. Another little floater from Miller. What a start she's made. Well done, Potter. Atwell. And here's Mailey. Again, just pulls up. Encourages Jackson to come at her and just pops it over the top. You just mentioned the zone defense. That was a really nice change up by the Lynx there out of the timeout, ready for that man offense. Hole inside to Jackson. That's what they needed. Jackson posting up on Atwell. Gives it off. Russell a fumble. Away comes Goodchild, who started well, runs into Cole. No whistle. McDonald. Long range oh. three is great. This is the layup. Makes that one. What a massive three. Perth have flown the blocks here. Rochi, Mitchell, Cole. There's the inside ball they want for Jackson. Potter's got an enormous part to play in this series. As Perth's one genuine big. McDonald drew a crowd. Dish to Maley and she drains three. Absolutely. And if they make more than 11, they haven't lost a game. They've started well. They're three for three from long range. Mitchell to respond. They needed that. Sure did. No hurry from a south side perspective. They're happy to try and slow the tempo down. Cheryl Chambers telling us they don't want to get sucked into playing at full throttle all game. They can't do that. Ernst made a living out of that. Such a great target. And their twin towers just keep coming in one player after another. And they've got to use that. That was a great basket. McDonald down the other end. Not this time. And away comes Dickey. That's the thing about jacking up the threes. When they drop, you can score in a hurry. When they don't, it's an opportunity for Southside to just steadily grind their way back. And we're seeing that now. That's a great backdoor cut by Rochi there. Chipitoni into the game. She and Goodchild and Gorman will all rotate through. And Atwell, just so deadly. And away comes Maley again. Clinch Hoycard. Here's Atwell. Feeling it. You just can't leave her like that. The Flyers have got to address this pick and roll D pretty quickly. She might have the Atwell job. Russell. Dickey to respond. And Maley, whose ability on the boards is going to be critical in this series and this as well. Her ability to run, push the tempo. Create opportunities on the outside. Oh, thanks it. Calls Rochi to her. Gorman's got that job at the moment. One of their best defenders. Rochi draws a crowd. Russell works through Potter. Tough finish, and Mercedes makes it good. Thanks to Foot Locker. Mitchell. Potch lost the handle, but Dickey collected it. Jazz finishes. So classy. The 24-year-old. Dickey's, Dickey's being very aggressive offensively. Would feel very good to make that basket. Chipitoni. Potter comes rumbling towards the hoop. Russell rejects. Maley scraps. Kicked out. Chibatoni from long range. It's still alive. Good child. Final 30 seconds. Good child. Potter. Nowhere to go. Gorman. Maley from the corner. Oh. Swish. How's that extra pass? Gives him a totally different feel on the floor. And she checks in. Cole to Russell. Needs to be a catch and shoot. It's really good. Lovely execution to finish the opening term for Southside. Mitchell wants to go inside, you can see, to Jackson, but she's covered by Maley. Potter comes out. As Russell's shot is heavy. Potch will... No, not quite finished, but LJ, the putback, that won't go either. It's been the story so far for Southside. They just haven't been able to drop those shots, and McDonald runs into Mitchell. To land in long rebounds, and then being able to run off the back of it. So they get down the floor. There's 19 seconds left. Cole steps inside, little floater from Beck won't go. Slapped away by Maley, picked off Atwell. Will she get to the three-point line? Right. Oh, clever. 
Mitchell came out. Mitchell. Cole steps out. Big bucket required and the veteran delivers. Really big basket there. That would have felt very good for Beck Cole. I mean, they are. They're moving the ball really well. But have a look at Perth's defence on the post. Nothing's easy. McDonald, little shake. Yeah, she's an incredible scorer, but she's such a force multiplier for the others. In the games that she's been back with the Perth Lynx, Jackson makes a big three. Mitchell knocked away, good child. And again, Potter in good position to pick it off. Maley. Here's Atwell. Wide open. Swish. Clinch Hoycard off to Atwell, who's been electrifying with four three balls. Is it five? She's oh. foul and it drops. <laughs> Amy Atwell, eight from long range, and now she'll go to the line to shoot the extra. Extra. Thanks, Candy. So the question is, how is Amy Atwell getting so wide open? I don't think she was actually that open. <laughs> Not that time, but the previous shot, she was all alone as Beth finishes for two more. Well, Jace, that's what happens when you allow a shooter to get her eye in. And, like, she is absolutely on fire now. That one was blocked. The Lynx had 60 combined points off turnovers and fast breaks. And Troy Card puts it on the floor against Jackson, and LJ says no. <laughs> I still like this for the Lynx. They've leveraged the famine from that three-point line. Here's Atwell again. If there's one player you have to find. This is extraordinary. Oh my goodness. Extraordinary. She's hit six of ten. This would be doing Cheryl Chambers head in. Jackson to Cole. Amy Atwell with one of the great first half performances in a WNBL grand final. Ernst. Dickey. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. Jazz goes against Chipper Tony. Tough finish. Well done. Really tough finish. Maley. Inside, outside, clinch. Hoycard, Chipper Tony. McDonald back to Mack, feeds it inside. They can get it done in multiple ways. This time it's Maley under the hoop. We talked about two completely different styles and which system is going to get on top and who can have the game on their terms for longer. Well, it's almost exclusively been on the Lynx terms from the start as Anna Lee drops another one. Brocci to Russell. Can Southside slow this tempo a little? Jackson under the hoop. And LJ comes up with a couple. She's up to seven points. Here's Rochi. Nice step gets past Chipotone. Tries to breeze past Maley. Won't go. Still there. And Chipotone comes up with it. Another 50 50 that goes Pert's way. Look out. Look out. Oh my goodness. How good is this to watch? It's 52% from the three. Risto, you're right. Kick it out for the high percentage yeah. shot. <laughs> Give up the open. It's unbelievable. Rochi. Weaves her way through as she does, and that one does drop. Flies need some buckets to fall their way here. No, probably look, not Probably not the shot they wanted there. Cole being harassed by Gorman. The screen came from Jackson. Gorman trying to guard both. Near impossible to do, and LJ hits a big three. And Southside are just not getting any good stops at all. McDonald kicks it out. They've got other options from long range. Let's not forget. And this is Steph Gorman. Unbelievable shooting. Rochi. Russell. Nice from Mercedes. They need their bigs to get more involved. LJ's got 10 points. Russell's now got six. Here's McDonald again. Here's Gorman from the corner once more. Cop that! It's great for the Perth Lynx where you force them into isolated efforts that you can guard as a whole team. Final minute of the opening half. Why now not? it's Anna Lee open. Oh my goodness. This is extraordinary. Clogging up the paint and opening up the perimeter for people to be able to take or encourage them to take. To Mitchell. This crowd at Parkville just stunned by this phenomenal shooting performance from Perth. Rochi to Russell. Nice move on the inside. Thought about letting it fly. Decided not to. Cole wanted to go inside to Jackson. Mitchell does now. LJ. Great start for Southside. Mitchell. Rochi versus Goodchild. Back to Mitchell, inside to Russell against Potter. As Mercedes take her on, she puts it on the floor. Tries to get inside, lovely move. Great move. Got the ball into the post twice for two scores. It's more Southside basketball. Just got to chip away. Potter's shot is short. Well done, Maylie to Goodchild, and they come up with two. Emily Maylie, 15 points. 
five rebounds. Has played a wonderful supporting role. She's been Robin to Amy Atwell's Batman so far. Russell. The south side look to rally. Mitchell. Rochi for three. That'll get him going. Margin of 16. Atwell to silence the crowd. She banks it. I was just about to say they need to be a bit patient here, but Atwell's like, no, I haven't touched the ball. I'm going to shoot this. Had a really good season last year in Perth. And this year has just gone to another level. Lovely find from Mitchell to Cole. Southside just looking to chip away. Nothing much doing. Russell hauls it in. Back to Beck. Looks to pop it over the top. And Atwell says, uh-uh. Is it airy time? Four seconds on the shot clock. Maley comes up to provide a screen. Airy, tough shot. Great D from Southside. Now Airy's happy just to slow things down a little. Game being played at a frenetic pace. That's better. Lovely. Outside. Just like that, they've steadied nicely. It was 23 at halftime. It's back to 22. Russell. Short. Away. Perth showing us a bit of half court. Chibatoni receives from Maley. Gets isolation one on one with Mitchell. Shoots over the top and scores. Nice bet play from Alex. She's comfortable down there, Chibatoni. She's a tall guard. She's comfortable playing in the post and you know, out reaching, out muscling smaller guards. Yeah, she was very poisoned too. Jazz Dickey from the corner. Maley to McDonald. Tries to get past Dickey and kick it back out. Clinch Hoycard will put up a three. Why not? Well, that's exactly what she wants. This has just been extraordinary. Dickey's trying to go basket for basket at the other end. Perth now 17 for 30. And there's Chippatoni working hard in both directions. Rochi gets free. Jacks up a three. Off the iron. That's well done, Potch. Yep. Nice fight from Nadiu. And some energy from players. Good child against Dickey. Takes on Russell and Mercedes swats it away. Uncertain of her options, needs one to present. It's good child. Shot clock down at nine. Still got some time to work something here. Miller the behind the back. Now kicks it out. We've spoken about Clinch Hoycart from long range. You know, that adds up and that pays dividends in finals games like this. Yep, so the other three starters come back in now. McDonald, Maley, and Atwell. Pump it inside and then support it with offensive rebounds. I mean, their whole MO is going to be, can they get points in the paint? Can they get second chance points and wear down the Lynx? LJ from long range. She's up to 15. Southside have got 10 minutes of almost learning and scoping for game two. Maybe probing and trying some different things. That keeps working. Just go to LJ. She's up to 18. On the post defense there, full credit to the adjustments they've made for this game. Atwell calls Chibatoni towards her. Goes herself. Well done, Russell. Got in the way. Maley kept it alive. Four seconds, and well done, Southside. Jackson off to Rochi. Looks for some support because Perth have got numbers back. Jackson again. Hello. In just two like and a half minutes. Yep, just like that. Atwell, Maley, McDonald, Chibatoni. Huge bucket from the veteran. Every time Southside have threatened to rally. Perth have slammed the door shut on their fingers pretty quickly. Can they do it again? Chipatoni again. Oh, yes, Alex. Lost her footing, so just holds up, gains her balance. Airy from long range. Why not? Why not? Open layups, and on the weak side, you can clean up a lot of possession play. Jackson sits down with four fouls. Away comes McDonald. And again, we've seen Perth just stabilise the situation. When Southside look to rally, Jackson hits a few threes early in the final term. You know, you know when it's coming, where it's coming from. Because then you can anticipate and disrupt it if you're the Lynx. Rochi to Ernst. Potch. To the rack. Nice from Nadio. From Southside, McDonald. Flips it over the top. Good pressure, Luffridge. Well played. And away comes Rochi. Ferocious with that ball to Potch. Here's Dallas. Does she go herself? Off to Russell. Inside to Ernst. Classy finish from Carly. They've spread the load well for the Flyers. Jackson's had 21. Mercedes Russell, 12. Rochi, 8. Lou Brown in the game. Ernst from long range. Yes, Carly. Little now that they've got to start planning for game two. Well, 
Harassed by Luffridge, right up and in. Amy, long range. <laughs> she can do no wrong. Off to Maley. Well done, Brown. It'll remain a Perth ball. Vigorous defence there from Lou Brown. Development player last year, main roster this year. Chance to be part of a championship team. Great drive. Potch again. Chipitoni. Nice move. Finds Hannon. Well done, Potch. Brown. Thought about giving it to Luffridge. Instead, she goes to Ernst, and why wouldn't you? Forced up. Final minute of game one. Chipitoni shakes Potch. Reels in the pass. It was going to the corner. Here's Forster. Yes, Chloe! There she goes. Join the party. Jacks up a three. Ernst says, here, have another go. No, you, you <laughs> go, Carly. Yeah. And why not? I'll defer to the veteran. Forster brings it down the floor. And the Perth Lynx take game one on the road.